and they racing from that 1450 meter marker. Zoom Bomber taken off to lead them over here. Feel all right against the panels. The lime green with a pink cap in second. Hotter Ruby looking for some cover. French Impact fighting quite strong in the early parts of the race. Pied King Fisher is right there with Chili Moon. Only two or three lengths off the leader. Fire and Flames got some cover this afternoon. The white and black about five lengths off the leader. And Mvalelo is going to have to get past them all. They're racing tight quarters and they go up towards the last 850 meters. They're behind the bushes and Feel All Right is in front doing it by just over a length with Hata Ruby to the outside in second. Then comes Zoom Bomber, beautifully positioned over here. Only two and a half lengths off them in third. Chelly Moon on that one's inside. Pied King Fisher behind them. French Impact has never been comfortable, been fighting from the word go. Spot that the grades the red and black about five lengths off them fire and flames and Mvalelo is going to have to be good to win from there but in front is feel all right with zoom bomber hotter ruby and french impact is to the outside and running on strongly french impact now runs on to hotter ruby chili moon is towards that one's outside but french impact is confidently ridden under the hands and goes breezing into the lead french impact the jockey looking left looking right there's nothing in sight French Impact, it's another one for Danon Platina. Fire and Flames has run second, Hotter Ruby in third, and then came Feel All Right in fourth, further back Pied King Fisher, and then came Zoom Bomber. So well supported late, I see just refreshing the betting. Found a bit of late support, and there we go, you can see Muzi Yen, he's hardly moved a muscle on number six French Impact. Well done, of course, to Lawrence Verners, who bred this individual, was bought for 260,000 Rand, and to Mr. Colin Bird, they look to have a lovely horse over here. Well done to Robbie Sage as well. Says a lot about that horse, give me another chance. Who beat this individual by five lengths back on the 4th of May, and that was a lovely win from number six, French Impact. Hand you back to the studio, pick six starts in race number three. Right, so race number two, first league of our PA has been won by number six, French Impact. Well done to Robbie Sage. Joe's here to represent him. Of course, Mr. Colin Bird, we know these colours so well. Mr. Verners, who bred another son of Donon from two today. And Muzi Yeni, of course, lovely ride there, Muzi. I mean, he must have been confident after those uh, last two with the wide draws. Yes, 100%. And uh, the money horse was caught three deep. And I knew it was my race for the pickings. And there was three deep. Uh, gave Zambomba a challenge very early, so I just had the quietest and most uh, coolest race out of all, so I just had to bide my time. He pricked his ears just at the 200 because I just wanted to give him some confidence. He was a nervous horse as a two-year-old. Mm. I was trying to just keep him, the stick off him, let him enjoy his racing, and uh, he came through like a star. Is it nice as a jock just to be able to look left and right and you see nothing? It must be nice. No, it's lovely, uh, but uh, I had confidence that he'll run a massive race. I thought he'll win, especially getting the three kilos. Obviously, you can't be overconfident with young horses, but uh, his class pulled him through. Well, I just wanted to ask you just quickly about Glitter Fox and Thunderstone, because Thunderstone's got a wide draw, but they both must have chances. Yeah, Glitterstone, um, obviously, Mr. Ledzos needed his last run. Um, I think he'll be much closer. And uh, he's, you know, he's a hard-knocking maiden. He's also going to give her a lot of confidence, but... I think he'll be, he definitely should be in the firing line. Thanks, Moz. Well done. Thank you very much. And uh, obviously the one for Mr. Magna, um, Thunderstone. Mm, mm. Just the deep draw is my concern. Yeah. If I was drawing the first six, I'd give you a lot of confidence to win. But with the deep draw, it's easily you could end up out of your ground. So I think Paul Peters was the horse. I have to respect. I think uh, with Muzi aboard, we'll take our chances. <laughs> Thank you very <laughs> much. A huge thanks uh, to my trainer, Mr. Sage. Uh, I've got to say... Me and Joe looking at the horse in the ring and like he stood up, heads above, shoulders above the rest and he, I couldn't see anything beat him on looks and just well done, well prepared, well trained guys, Joe, big team effort. I want to thank everyone to my sponsor Stone Stamp Corps, a big thank you as well and uh, can't thank Mr. Bird enough for his continued support. Thanks Muzi. Thank you. Muzi Yeni, right here comes Joe. Joe, lovely, uh, as Muzi said, look, best looking horse in the ring there, you've done well, congratulations. 
Yeah, no, he was, uh, as we saw him in the ring, Mozi said, chewy, don't know, he never see this horse look so well in the parade ring. So I said, <laughs> anyway, he must just ride it properly, win the race for us. And he did. And then he did. <laughs> so all I can say, well done to our owner, Mr. Colin Bett and Mr. Sylvia, they're in overseas, and now they're watching, even the first one they watch it, they're in a good race. And then to my boss as well, and stable, is over the moon, he's very happy he's watching the race. Now you've got a bit of a wait, you've got Cape Lights in race number seven, what do you think? Yeah, um, after the long layoff, uh, maybe you will need it, but you can put him in a quartet. Thank you. Now, here's a first check for you. Bloodstock, BSA, one of the last checks goes to Robbie Sage. Well done. And of course, Mr. Bird, thank you very much for that. And then you've got another check as well to accept on behalf of Anthony, who's uh, the groom gone with a horse. So, Joe, that's the World Sports bidding, one and a half thousand rand. I think um, you'll be happy, Anthony. No, you, yes, Anthony will be over the moon also to get a check. And then well done to the World Sport uh, betting to support the grooms. This is wonderful. Thank you, Joe. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Joe. Well done, Anthony. Well done to Mr. Bird and Robbie Sage. You get the 100,000 Rand BSA check as well. And uh, Muzieni, very confident he was. And uh, yeah, good result for quite a few. 6175. That's race two. Pick six. Race three coming up next.